Hi everyone, welcome back to Photoshop. Today we're going to be working through chapter 11, which is extracting images, a hairy proposition. So we're going to be doing masking and refining edges where hair and fur come into play. So not just a hard edge like we've been dealing with in the past. Um, we're going to learn some manual masking techniques first. And then when we're done with this chapter, I'm going to show you the new features in Adobe Photoshop 2021, which is what I have loaded here at home. And I would encourage you to do the same. I'm going to be teaching on the newest version um, from this point out. There have been some changes made to the Refine Edge and specifically Refine Edge with hair. And it's very powerful and very amazing. However, it's not always perfect. So we have to learn the basics first, which is why I'm going to walk you through the textbook before I show you the magic that Photoshop now has. Also, I tested the magic, if you will, with a book file and it didn't turn out nearly as well as the manual version. So we need to understand how to do this if all of the perks and bells and whistles in Photoshop don't work. All right, first up in Chapter 11 textbook files, we're going to be opening the image called Boxes. And I already have this ready for us. Let me just change my screen a little bit. Um, all right, so if we take a look, whoa, I guess I don't know when I did that, but I apparently did do that. Okay, and now it's gone. Um, if you take a look at this image, we can see that the fox hair is very soft and fuzzy, and there's not specifically any single strands sticking out like a wet animal might, the fur, the hair on an animal might look. This is pretty easy to mask. So this fuzzy kind of hair um, is fairly easy to mask out using a soft brush. So there's two things that we're going to want to do. First thing is we're going to want to double click on the background layer to release it from its locked background or just single click on the lock. Um, and we're going to add a layer mask to this layer. So come down to your tools and, or I'm sorry, the bottom of the panel and click on the layer mask. So we now have that. Then we're going to put basically a white background behind it so that as we mask it out, the foxes are going to show on a white background. So we're going to come down to the plus sign and, oops, it's not entirely what I meant to do. I want to add, so I'm going to undo that. I could do that and then fill it with white, but if we click on the Add New Fill or Adjustment layer, we can add instead a solid color, and we're going to just choose white. So make sure 255, 255, 255 in the RGB terms and say OK. So now we have a color fill layer of all white. It has a mask. We won't need it. And we're going to drag that down below our image. And then we're going to go back to the fox layer and work on that. Specifically, we're going to be working on the mask. So make sure that you activate the mask. Now our goal is to take our brush tool and we are going to use a 0% um, hardness brush, which is going to be a super fuzzy brush. And then how big it is kind of depends on what you're working with. I'm going to make this one a little bit smaller. I'm going to come over here and make this smaller. And on the masking layer, we're going to be painting with black. So I want to make sure that my foreground color is black. So I'm just going to click on the chip to get black and white and then flip them with the double arrows to make sure that I'm painting with black. And from here, we're just going to kind of, oops, that's a hard edge brush still, darn it, 0% soft brush, okay. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to lightly paint a mask around the edge of the fox here. Now if this isn't quite working and you feel like your brush is too big or too small, go ahead and change that. But we're going to work all the way around the outline here, attempting to make kind of a soft edge so that it, we see a little bit of that fuzzy fur showing up. So I'm just going to pause and come back when I'm done. Okay, I've made it around and you can see from the mask over here, everywhere that I've painted black, we're now masking out what was there, the grass, and we're able to see through to the layer below, which is just white. 
So after doing this, you could maybe make your brush a little bit bigger and kind of, I might even make it hard now, and just come around here to get a little bit wider area because our next step and the quickest way of doing that is to just do a quick lasso around this area, select the inverse, and then we're going to delete it so that the whole background is now white. Or you could paint it out like I'm doing. So with, whoops, I got a little carried away there. But with that done, I would then take the lasso and I would just make a loose selection around the foxes. You can see I have more wiggle room here now that I made my white area or masked area a little bit bigger. And then right click, select inverse. And then we're going to fill that with black, which is our foreground color. So option, delete. And if we look at our mask, we can see that it filled the rest of the area in. Now you can go back and you can fix this. So where it's still a little bit of green showing through, I would use a smaller, very soft brush, 100, or I'm sorry, 0% hardness. I would fix this corner also. And then using, you know, maybe the healing brush or spot healing brush or clone tools, I would fix all of the errant grass that's still showing in here. But you can see how this is a fairly reasonable cutout of the fox's soft fuzzy fur. It looks pretty natural. If we were to put that on a different background, it's going to look quite good. And it's very simple, just using a soft brush.